Hey, I'm Jared Martin with World Purple, and this is Unscripted. Hey guys, it's Jared with Royal Purple. Today on Unscripted, we're with Tim Strange of Strange Motion. So Tim, we've been working together for at least eight years, right? So our history started back on the RTM production of Search, Search and Restore. Restore. Yeah, tell yeah. me a little bit about that. Yep, that was, uh, was filmed by Nashville. We moved down there out of Illinois to did th do that TV show. And it was kind of a give back. We got industry people to come in and help the builds and the people always had a good story. Uh, I believe we built a truck together. You guys sent some of the people down. It was a guy that had uh, foster care and a bunch of kids and yeah. adopted kids yeah. and built this four wheel drive Chevy truck for him to get to work and back and do it in a little bit of his style. Yeah, so. so. You have a shop in Nashville, right? So that may or may not have done this panel truck sitting behind us. So tell us about your shop. Yeah, my shop is Strange Motion Rod and Custom. I've uh, been in business, it's actually my 25th year running my hot rod shop. I've uh, been pretty lucky. We've been in over 380 magazines around the world. Uh, won the Good Guys Trendsetter at SEMA. Uh, we built a dozen vehicles for OEMs for the SEMA show, taken a whole bunch of hot rods, and I'm actually the third youngest to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. Nice. Not too bad. Congratulations on that. So the panel truck, the 61 panel delivery. So when we sent this to you, it didn't look like that. No, so is there was, anything uh, still the same? There's a little bit of the sheet metal left. Um, <laughs> You guys know your royal purple history that it was purple with flames on it before and five spokes and a big block in it yeah. and a pro charger um, i think somebody started working on it because when i got it it had the same motor in it but uh, it was flat black with a logo on it and steely solid big wheels and kind of got started and then stuck in the warehouse is the story i got yeah yeah, yeah it was actually in my garage i wasn't working on it so don't yeah. blame me yeah. right? so, so i can't blame you for yeah, the wiring don't, don't, that was I do not blame so. i do no, yeah, yeah no wiring so. so we actually we got it to the shop at strange motion and gutted it stripped everything out all the carpet all the stereo i mean it it was built pretty cool there was a big stereo like competition style stereo in it then you know all the crazy woodwork and fiberglass stuff in it that was kind of cool back in what in the mid 90s when it was built the first time probably that long ago uh, so about early 2000s, early 2000s. yeah we'll, yeah, go, we'll with go with that yeah. so we actually discarded the old chassis it's got a full brand new fabricated chassis for it from fat man it's got ride tech shock waves so it sits down and you can raise it up and adjust it and it's got leveling arms so if we throw a bunch of stuff in the back it still holds the stance right yeah. um kind of you guys kind of let me run with it and do whatever i wanted so i was like well kind of should have some purple on it so we put mostly gray on it because with all the road miles, the gray hides all the dirt and everything. Sure. And it's basically the same colors as a Royal Purple oil box. Yeah. Of course, it's got good horsepower in it. It's got a Lingenfelder six liter in it, all Holly injection, B&M transmission, Curry rear end, vintage air conditioning, uh, Dakota digital gauges, and I did it tilt column, huge kicker stereo in it. So it's almost a competition stereo system in there also. Nice. And uh, did a panel paint, kind of 60s style, because kind of like a Halibrand looking wheels that was popular in the 60s. Yeah. Um, so we put that big and little tires and stance on it and kind of panel painted it kind of like an old Larry Watson style paint job. The cool thing I like is the engine looks like an old school 409. I thought that was pretty yeah, cool. We, so that was a good idea. Made That's some brackets nice touch. to hide yeah. the coil packs and put 409 yeah. valve covers. It kind of makes some people scratch their heads a little bit here and there. Yeah, I had one guy at a show that he was mad because 409s didn't come in this truck originally. Well, I let him go, and I'm kind of looking around. It's like, one of my buddies must be set this old dude up just to mess with me. And then I finally told him it was an LS. He threw his hands in his air and was like, I don't know about you young kids. And I was like, well, I'm not really a young kid anymore. But, you know, to him, he just, he just could not comprehend that. The only thing that came in these things was a straight six. Yeah. Is that what he wanted to see? Yeah, is I guess a nice, so. boring yeah. straight he six? restorations yeah. okay. and only restorations. Yeah, so. Yeah. All right, so the bumper looks familiar. Headlight buckets, grill. Tell me about those. Stock bumper. Um, GMC's had quad headlights, so we put GMC headlights in it just because I like the quad headlight look a little bit. Yeah. And uh, I bought some spun metal headlight rings from Spence Customs, and then I extended them and Siamese them to make the metal around the headlights, and then made the grill bar with 57 Corvette grill teeth. So it's kind of an 
Impala Corvette. Yeah, just a mild custom. I like to cut stuff up and chop tops, but these things with the body lines, they're like a factory wild custom from the from the factory. Yeah, yeah. So you really don't need to do stuff. Then the only other thing is I shaved the marker lights and put other little marker lights down there because they're originally in the hood right here. Didn't even here, catch so. that. Yeah, and that's pointed out. So let's see the what we have here. So when when I left it again, it was a 541 big block with a yeah. big nasty pro charger on it. Dart block, dart heads. Death it machine. was wicked. Yeah, yeah, it was way too much power. So now it looks like it's a little bit more streetable. Yeah, this is a, a Lingenfelder six liter, what they call their power adder motor. Um, it's not a huge horsepower motor, but it's tough enough. It's an iron block. You can put a turbo on it eventually, a supercharger or something. But I mean, it's a 4,700 pound. It's got aerodynamics like a brick. So we just wanted to do road tours or did power yeah. tour with it and everything. Yeah. So it's a six liter. I hid the coils and put 409 valve covers on it. It's got a vintage air front runner, air conditioning, alternator, power steering, and all Holly injection, fuel rails, pump, everything, and Dominator computer to run it. It'll run 75 mile an hour down the road all day long, get almost 18 miles a gallon. Nice, so nice. It runs Brakes, really, I see really you good. put some, some Will Woods on there. Yeah, so. we use Will Woods on everything, and uh, they work great on the Power Tour this year. The one, it's a Blue Ridge Mountain pass that we did or something, like yeah. over two hours, I never went faster than 40 mile an hour, and it was like lock to lock and lock to lock all day. And So yeah, we put uh, about 7,000 miles on it on tours just this summer alone. Wow. Road tours for... Uh, we did the Hot Rod Power Tour. We did a Good Guys Road Tour. We drove it up here from Nashville to Detroit to film here this weekend. And we do a lot of cars and coffees and stuff around home when we're there. So Yeah, I think we put about 700 miles on it before we turned it over to you. So, yeah. You've kind yeah. of gone a little bit further. Yeah. So, oh, good deal. So, that's really nice. A lot more streetable. And that's kind of the intent of it is, hey, we want to get this out and take it to shows and, and do things like that. And yeah. We kind of missed that a little bit with the drivetrain we had in it. So, it's good to see it like this. So. Yeah. But, you know. Well, purple's for power, so it had lots of power. We so. wanted it to be pretty obnoxious. Yeah, I think yeah. yeah. It, it definitely was pretty obnoxious, we'll yeah. call it that. So <laughs> Well super. So are you running what what oil are you running in here? HPS, XPR, what HPS you got thirty weight is what HPS I got in there right now. Weight, so. so awesome. So and then you've got the max ATF and the trans and probably the max gear seventy five ninety. Yep. What rear end do you have in it? It's a Curry nine inch Ford. Okay. It's like a three oh eight rear end gear. So nice say good highway overdrive gear. it yeah. runs 2200 rpm at 70. nice it was nice. on the road really good good deal all right so i know you did a lot into here but you also did a lot in the back so show me uh show me what you did back there okay cool so it is a panel truck so yeah. it's essentially a delivery vehicle it's got the nice big doors that open we put uh, a lot of cool stuff in here to haul a bunch of stuff for road trips. We got a Technocraft cabinet that we made, so we got a drawer to keep stuff. Yeah. We put some display racks on the side for catalogs for companies that have helped on the project. Filled with kicker stereo equipment. It's got the party mode. It's got the control right here that you can control it. Nice. And one of the coolest things is because as low as it is with the air ride, yeah. we had to step the bed floor. So we kind of lose all the space. So we put a bed slide in it. So you can roll it out, load all your stuff. When we're at a lot of, you know, events for Lingenfelder and Royal Purple, we put oil on here for display, and we can put catalogs out here and load our cooler up. And my stereo guy, Chris Robinson, is amazing, and I just let him kind of go. So he wanted marine speakers in here. He's got annoying lights because he likes lights. You got to shut them off all the time. But he made it since it's like a gig truck too in his mind. So the looks like guitar amps in there. That's filled with, there's four subwoofers in there and four amps to control the stereo system. And uh, yeah, it, you could hear this in the next county if you turned it all up. So. And all two Optima yellow tops, so yep. nice. Two Optima batteries, all the air ride controls for ride techs all up there, the air tank for the air ride, all that's up there. So. Very cool. I like the way that you laid it out, so yeah. Nice. The only thing left from the first build is the gray headliner and these gray panels right here. I remember those. Yep, so we put those back in. It's like, well, the truck's gonna be gray still, so we kind of used those. Uh, then there's room for improvement yet back here if we want to change it out, but it kind of works back here. No, so. it's a good driver and serves a purpose. Yeah. You know, so For more information on Royal Purple, check out our website at rollpurple.com. Tim, how do people find you? Uh, strangemotion.com is the website and Strange Motion on social media, Strange Motion Rod N Custom on Instagram and my personal one is Rod Builder.